Bum, bum, bum. All right, here we go. Here we go. Facebook City USA. Uh, bah, okay, perfect. Let's see. Da, da, da. All right, putting it up here. 10 minutes, do what you like. Whatever you want to do. One scene, real time has been a lot of these. So if that's what you want to do, that's cool. Uh, if anything happens technology wise, we'll just go with it. As yep as we are want to do. Uh, all right, one, two. So we've got bah, 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 bah. Why, let's see. All right, we have, we are now live. Uh, pick a number one through 46. 39. Oh, yes. Uh, 46, 45, 43. Okay, so this comes from, um, wow, uh, this comes from Mark Turbin. Our suggestion is climbing buddies. <laughs> climbing buddies. All right, thanks, Mark. <laughs> we can make it there. <laughs> I wasn't even gonna give it a shot. I'm glad, I'm glad you said something because I thought that we would have to go, I mean, there's no way. That is really high. I I pictured this like where I grew up. And, and I didn't grow up near mountains. I grew up near hills. So when I'm like, let's go hiking, I, oh, man. Well, I grew up in the city in India. And the tallest building we had, the tallest hill, mountain, I saw in South India was not anywhere close to this. I guess what do you see? <laughs> it looks, it looks smaller because you see it in photos, and then you get up close, and it's like, it's tall and steep. It's tall and what, 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 what? Oh, I'm huge! Like it's like a magnification. A live magnification. It's kind of like when you see pictures on realtor photos, you know, yeah. when you're looking at houses, the rooms always look bigger. They're staged. They're staged that way. Uh, oh. Oh. I don't know. Okay. I think my stuff looks upset. You should just have so you want to just hey, let's have some water it'll lighten the load trevor i gotta be nervous I, I i gotta be honest with you you said you gotta be nervous i know that's okay. what i gotta be honest with you about okay go ahead what what is it you know how on the dating profile yeah you know yeah I had put some pictures. Yeah. And then you like the picture of me climbing. Yeah. And I told you I was rock climbing for for many years and I I, I had bouldered. Yeah. On Mount Tibitabu. Yeah. Yeah. I've never been climbing my entire life. I just did that to impress you. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Yeah. Um, okay, Lex, can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? Yeah. This is the closest I've ever been to anything that had any elevation whatsoever. I didn't think I was interesting enough. So I thought, I, oh, I'm a rock climber. So I actually went out and I bought a bunch of the equipment and I Photoshopped the backgrounds. So it looked like I climbed different mountains and the whole way up here, 
like I don't even I've never ridden that bicycle before either so I bought a bike I'm like I'm gonna be this outdoorsy guy and I'm such not an outdoorsy guy I'm an indoorsy I'm not an outdoor, not an indoorsy person yes I mean, but... why I don't even know why I said I was I don't like being outside I don't like it I don't like it either it's sunny and it's hot there are insects that bite you and there are people I don't like being around people it's really scary, <gasps> scary to be around people they're always bothering you like little buzzing bees I was so nervous that you were like this outdoor fanatic. And I was like, oh, she pro we probably don't talk about going outdoors because that's something she wants to do so that we never talked about. But then I just blurted out, let's go climbing. And I'm like, Whoa. so I was so nervous about coming here today. I was nervous about coming here today. Before I came, I went to the REI store and I had to ask that guy, what's that thing that is used to light up the other thing so that I can make hot water? <laughs> and he just looked at me like I was from planet Mars or something because I was also dressed up in climbing gear. I walked into the REI store with all my climbing gear on. Oh my God, it's like when I clean up my apartment before I have somebody come over to clean up my apartment. Exactly. Oh my. Why would we be so nervous? I guess I just want you to like me. And I'm afraid that if I don't have a story, if I'm not known as like, oh, I, I, like, I don't have that thing that I'm like, I'm a mountain climber. And I thought that would be something and then when you're like, I also like to be outdoors, then I was like, oh man, I can't say I'm just kidding. I have to see this through. And I've been regretting coming here because I, I guess I didn't want to be vulnerable around you. I wish I had told you this sooner because, you know, for me, I, I kept thinking to myself, why are you lying to Trevor? Why are you letting, you guys have been dating for three months. What's wrong with you? Why are you lying to Trevor? And Trevor, I'm just scared I'm gonna die alone. Lex, if we go up that mountain, there's a possibility <laughs> that that's gonna happen to one or both of us. <laughs> yeah, I was just, so, I'm so glad you said it out loud because I was thinking it in my head. <laughs> I was like, I had seen some YouTube videos on how to use the carabiners, but I'm like, if we're in a situation, I'm the last person I want to be on a mountain with. No, I was looking on whether you can use an umbrella to protect yourself from an avalanche. <laughs> <laughs> My Google search history is very weird from the last 24 hours. <laughs> I looked up avalanche, then uh, alpine Wait. monster because I can't remember his name. <laughs> ways to die. I looked up ways to die on a mountain. Uh, I looked up how to get uh, off a mountain. I looked up. I, I spent a lot of time searching about mountains, and and I guess I guess I I don't want to die alone either. I don't think anybody does. But I guess I really started thinking I didn't want to be alone. I didn't want to die alone after we started dating. Trevor, that's the nicest. That is the nicest thing anyone has said to me. I never had that effect on anyone really? else. I mean, I don't see a lot of people. I'm a lighthouse keeper. That's yeah. my job. It's a very lonely job with weird uh, hours. <laughs> and you gotta do that job. There's no one that can take your place. You can't have sick days. No, it's just, you know, sitting, watching ships go by. That sounds thinking nice. Thinking to myself, who's going to 
join me in this small room that I call my home. I like watching ships go by. It's very calming. Sometimes you see the occasional whale. Hey, they don't come by San Francisco very often. No, but when they do, it's got to be magical. It's very magical. I guess that's... Maybe that's the mountain. <laughs> the whale or the lighthouse? I think the lighthouse. I think that's what I was going for. I think the lighthouse is the mountain. <laughs> I think that's what I was going for. <laughs> okay, Trevor. We need to have a different conversation. Um, have you been tested? <laughs> <laughs> all I'm saying is I like hanging out with you. <laughs> That's yes, all I, I, I guess I wanted to make it some metaphor. I like hanging out with you. So if you just want to hang out in the lighthouse or if you want to walk down the, the street or if you want to sit at this mountain, I'm, I'm cool with that. Oh, um, yeah. I'm trying to check in with myself to see why I got so awkward. And again, it's like, I really enjoy hanging out with you, but I think the only reason I'm hanging out with you is because I don't want to be lonely. Mm. You deserve better than that. I like the idea of being with a mountaineer. Okay. So I guess I can call us a Uber or Lyft now. Um, I feel like I should leave. I, I guess I'll leave. <laughs> and Steve, oh my God, it just, the, the frame froze and I was like, I think. No, that was it. I, I think the, the, the internet just stopped and ended that scene for us. Well, and that's the thing like doing virtual stuff. You, the internet's gonna get wonky. It just is what it is, and, so, and maybe that's that's the that's the end of the scene. That's it. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, Jay, I think our internet connection is ending our <laughs> short. <laughs> Wait, can you hear me now? Oh, uh, how's that? I can hear you. I'm just um, I'm kind of like sitting in with that that kind of like the feeling of that scene and it just you know there was a twist and a turn that was so unpredictable to me and i was just trying to be authentic with what i was wow. feeling in my body i'm letting that drive it as opposed to you know the words or thinking about oh these guys you know liked each other i would be contradicting that and it was kind of like Gotta work with what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> you just kind of go with it, right? Yeah, I'm like, oh, a breakup scene. <laughs> oh, it's like, I would have never, you know, like five, six years ago, like I would have been like, oh shit, something bad is happening. These are negative emotions. Audience will not like to see this scene. No, <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't matter, right? It just doesn't matter. Did you, it always goes for me. It's like, I had fun in that scene. Hey, I don't even, I, I, I was out of my body in that scene. I was, I was just listening to, you know, that, that's um, when improv is magical to me. Yeah. It's when it feels like an out of body experience. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, my job is, being sensorially resp uh, responsive. Right, right. 
so it's kind of like there is the the ruth actually talks about this mm. there is the performer and the engineer ah in there the performer you're doing the improv the engineer or i call the architect is the one who's outside and directing like the scene should go this way the scene should go away it's the difference between strategic and tactical thinking mm-hmm. in my mind and it's like i've been letting go of don't worry about this guy oh yeah yeah <laughs> let let that guy do its thing yeah just do the improv and you know there is a delicate balance in a show which has form where you have to control right. it but we are not doing that form that's how we're doing it we're having fun <laughs> <laughs> and we talked about it like just trying to be a vessel right just trying to be a vessel just like an empty vessel yeah <laughs> i'm reminded of a quote empty vessels make the most noise <laughs> <laughs> you want to make noise in improv yep. try to embody an empty vessel that's just being responsive to whatever gets put into it <laughs> are you doing any teaching now like any improv teaching um no and um i'll tell you why i take teaching way too seriously ah and so i did try to teach some drop in classes for 3 hours but i think it 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 felt more like performance it's a long time for virtual uh not even virtual this was in person before the pandemic so i've been scared to teach also because um because that's not what i'm doing right i'm just like right. trying to live right i'm not trying to do a job i'm not trying to uh you know like the, i'm just trying to live and use like i'm in love with improv <laughs> <laughs> that's it <laughs> so there is to it <laughs> um if people want to connect with you or follow things you're doing uh, what's what's the best way is it social media is that Uh, yeah instagram is um, yeah. i'm on m1thra and on instagram platform i'm mainly sharing things that make uh, you know kind things in the world and good things i'm mostly just sharing that stuff to basically equalize all the trolls and all the negativity so i use my instagram for positive messaging follow me on facebook for any artistic stuff but my next upcoming project is network with the Jirasi artist residency uh and and counterpulse in San Francisco and with the G- JK Park Conservatory but this is the project where i'm working with biologists with a biologist who's in Brazil right now with uh artists and movement performers based in San Francisco Australia and a couple of different places in the globe and we're coming together to create an immersive performative piece that's going to be installed in uh one that's of the parks so to that explores the relationship between people and trees and what connects us uh in this time when when we have very little to connect to oh my goodness that sounds so cool please please keep me updated on that that sounds amazing yes i will totally do that <laughs> So well, I had so much fun Jay. Oh my god, it was so much fun. I really appreciate you. I appreciate your time and whether it's in person or virtual or whatever it is, I can't wait to play with you again, my friend. Thank you. Me too. Thank you so much. Great and talk. um, you know, if you're ever in tra- if I'm ever back on to a, a a team, I now know that um we really don't need to be physically co-located to play with people. we like and to learn from people we like so you changed my perspectives on online improv today oh my god oh you're the best let's talk more soon for real all right bye. see you today bye <laughs>